Let's talk about connection and separation. Christmas is a time of year that is supposed to be about connecting with family, meeting friends and spending times together that are joyful and helpful and reconnecting. This year I find myself in a situation where connection and separation play major parts in my thought process and I felt it useful to share that with you. As a professional declutterer and organizer, a lot of my business rides on my ability to make a connection with my clients. A connection that helps my client to trust me, but also allows me to sense and understand what they need and what is important to them. So we can tackle what actually is helpful to them first and then move into areas that may be a little bit more challenging or not quite as important. On the other hand, I also need to be able to work in separation. There are things like preparations, like follow-up, administration, making videos like this one, preparing for all kinds of stuff that requires to be on my own. And those two things are not mutually exclusive, obviously, but to be fully in the moment in the connection with a client requires a certain mindset that is very different from the one that is necessary to do work on my own. This weird scenario is represented by this year's Christmas tree behind me. You can see there are squares with images on and text on and there's blue ribbons that are a different shape. And those represent my two sides of thinking this time of year. The squares represent my friends, the people that came to mind when I decided how to decorate my tree. I made sure I had images of all of them, I printed them and I wrote on the back a word or a couple of words that to me represent those people and what they mean to me. That is my connection side. On the other hand, I've got the blue ribbons that represent things that happen within me, that are purely internal, that have more to do with my spiritual journey and my internal thinking than with my connection to other people. So they represent the separation. When it came to thinking about my friends and acquaintances, one thing occurred to me. In many cases, I couldn't remember when I last made a connection with them, when I last spoke to them, when we had a meaningful interaction. And my intention for this Christmas period is to make up for some of that and to actively reach out to people that mean something to me and make sure that I connect with them in as large a way as possible but possibly just through an email or a text message or just a hello on any kind of medium. On the other side, I also know that Christmas is generally a period that I spend a lot of time on my own, which I will use to clarify certain things that came up in meditation or during my time that I spend alone. Why am I bringing this up? I sense that a lot of people live with those extremes, that there is a need for connection, but there's also a need for being on your own. And I encourage you with this to try and play with this during the Christmas period. Make it into something that works for you. Bring in as much camaraderie and companionship and connection with other people as you need but make sure that your own needs are met in terms of reflection, in terms of doing things that are important to you on your own as you need. I wish you luck with finding a balance between connection and separation and take whatever you learn from your experience into next year and bring it to your daily life by continuing this experience as long as you can. This said, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again next year.
If you want more, there are options. Click the round logo to subscribe to this channel or select the playlist in the middle to see more content or check out the links in the description below. Oh, and feel free to like this video.